Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Shawls. This week I'm going to start something that is rather long, and I've really enjoyed doing these longer stories. And this story is very special and very worth it, and it will take a few weeks to get through, but I believe it is, like I said, 100% worth it in the end. This is from a collection called Viking Tales by Jenny Hall, an author and teacher at the Francis Parker School in Chicago. And this story, from the turn of the century, 1902, is the story of Harold Fairhair, the first king of Norway. And this, this is a true and beautiful saga, and I just love her translation, and I just love the way that she structured this. It starts very early and ends very late in the life of Harold Fairhair. And this, this is The Baby. King Halfdan lived in Norway long ago. One morning his queen said to him, I had a strange dream last night. I thought that I stood in the grass before my bower. I pulled a thorn from my dress. As I held it in my fingers, it grew into a tall tree. The trunk was thick and red as blood, but the lower limbs were fair and green, and the highest ones were white. I thought that the branches of this great tree spread so far that they covered all Norway and even more. A strange dream, said King Halfdan. Dreams are the messengers of the god. I wonder what they would tell us. And he stroked his beard in thought. Some time after that, a serving woman came into the feast hall where King Halfdan was. She carried a little white bundle in her arms. My lord, she said, a little son is just born to you. Ha! cried the king, and he jumped up from the high seat and hastened forward until he stood before the woman. Show him to me! he shouted, and there was joy in his voice. The serving woman put down her bundle on the ground and turned back the cloth. There was a little naked baby. The king looked at it carefully. It is a goodly youngster, he said, and smiled. Bring Ivar and Thorstein. They were captains of the king's soldiers. Soon they came. Stand as witnesses, Halfdan said. Then he lifted the baby in his arms while the old serving woman brought a silver bowl of water. The king dipped his hand into it and sprinkled the baby, saying, I own this baby for my son. He shall be called Harold. My naming gift to him is ten pounds of gold. Then the woman carried the baby back to the queen's room. My lord owns him for his son, she said, and no wonder he is perfect in every limb. The queen looked at him and smiled and remembered her dream and thought, That great tree, can it be this little baby of mine? And that is the beginning of the story of Harold, the baby. It's such a, I mean, it's so simple, but start with the birth. And things will pick up rather quickly from there. This is Dan Schultz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always... Thank you so much for listening.